guys, Double Wide Six, and today I'm going to be rust proofing my truck. I got this tip from Musty One's channel, and we're going to be using chainsaw bar oil, and we're going to apply that to the underside of the truck to prevent rust. So I went ahead and I ordered an underproofing gun, and there's a bunch of them available. I decided to get one with uh, an aluminum can, and I'm using my coffee maker. And I'm just kind of heating up that oil to thin it. It's real cold out today. I also have uh, some fluid film. So we're going to be using this to spray in the doors and things like that. Some of the smaller areas. And this rust proof gun, gun didn't come with a hose or an applicator. So um, I have an old hose from something. And I'm going to use my heat gun and try and put that on the tip so I can apply oil to the frame. It's going to be a messy job, so I'm just laying out an old painter's tarp. I was thinking about doing this on the grass, but it is going to drip and it'll end up killing my grass. So the best way to do it is probably with a tarp that you could just throw out. This one's disposable. Here's a look under the truck. Um, you can see that there is some some pretty big rust spots underneath here and uh, I'm figuring I can spray all this stuff and clean it up get it looking good if you remember last year I used some of that rust bullet undercoating and uh, I applied this rubber under here which seems to be holding up well um, I know that that whole thing there I painted with rust bullet so we'll, we'll spray this off there's a little bit of rust coming through there and I can fill in some of these uh, holes a little bit and just get some oil in there to help prevent rust. Alright guys, so we're underneath the truck and we're going to try and do a little coating. There's a little bit of dripping, but you can see it's it's pretty tacky and it stays up there. Even with the tarp, some of it's going to miss, as you can see. So a little bit of sawdust on hand can go a long way on uh, cleaning up your driveway. The coffee maker, hot plate worked real well. <laughs> the uh, aluminum thing fits on there just about perfect. But it's really cold out today, and it takes a while to heat this stuff up. So I ended up getting impatient, and I just used some old, uh, you know, 10W30 weight oil, and I mixed that in with the bar and chain oil. And uh, yeah, it, it sprayed really nice out of this thing. So it, it it was a I can't explain how messy this job is, but I'll take you underneath the truck now, and we'll take a look at it. It was just real hard to film. Uh, me spraying holding the camera and trying not to get dripped on and you want to keep the oil off as much rubber as possible but you can hopefully you can see up underneath how I coated the underside of the bed this thing's probably going to drip for a day or so and uh, obviously if you thin it with 10w30 it's going to drip more than if you just use bar and chain oil but the uh, gun worked real well and uh, things covered very well and as I mentioned and Musty one mentioned it in his video you really got to try and stay off the rubber because the rubber will swell and end up cracking from the uh, different oil products I don't know if you caught the channel last year but uh, 
I tried using the rust bullet paint uh, underneath my door on just about all the doors. I had a lit, I had a fair amount of rust, and I took a drill and a wire brush, and I took the rust off, and I applied the uh, rust bullet. This is, I think, about a year later. Maybe it might be even longer. I'm not sure. I'd have to check when I did that video, but it, it's holding up pretty well. Um, this was. Uh, all rusted out and it, it looks pretty good. I could probably use another coat of that paint. I want to hit these hinges a little. Wherever you don't want to have, uh, you know, oil, the uh, fluid foam is going to look a little better. Or the oil has uh, that brown tint to it because I used some old oil. And now I'm going to do underneath the doors. The idea here with the doors is you pull back the weather stripping and the doors have weep holes built into them. And that allows water to drain out of there, but I'm gonna just spray some fluid film through here each way. And then hopefully where it's rusting, and you can see I already did this with the uh, that bullet rust proofer. And it, it did a good job. It's really not rusting much, but that oil will really help. And oil really works great. You know, if you buy any metal parts, a lot of times they're coated in oil so that they don't rust. So uh, this should really help out. I've been going through with the fluid film and just kind of hitting any spots I missed. Like wherever there's rubber, I tried to stay away from. So now I'm just coming back and touching it up, and that seems to work quite well. All right, guys, it's later on in the afternoon, and I got to drive around the truck a little bit. I tried to go down some dusty stone roads and that type of stuff to knock some dust up to kind of stick to that oil so it'll sort of set up and not drip. The truck is uh, still dripping a little bit. And it does smell like oil, and that could be because I'm using recycled oil. And uh, my son, actually, he, he told me it smells like oil, and he said that that smells like soy sauce with some extra stuff in it. So that's kind of what it smells like. But uh, I'm going to keep an eye on this, maybe, you know, do a video in about two months, six months, maybe a year, and show you, you know, how it's holding up if it seems to be working or, or not. So uh, one other thing I wanted to mention is when I was researching this uh, underproofing stuff, a lot of people were using um, toilet wax rings. And, you know, the, the problem with that is it probably seals up well, but if there is moisture caught in the metal, it's going to hold it up in there. I don't think the moisture will be able to penetrate it at all. So, uh, you know, I was a little reserved as to doing that. And I wanted to mention that probably the best time to do this type of undercoating is in the spring because it's right after the winter season when there's water and salt up under the vehicle. And if you do it in the spring, as it turns into summer, uh, what happens is the you know, the sun comes out, it gets warm, and that the water, which is underneath the metal and the paint, it starts to expand, and that's when your paint starts to bubble up from rust. So, uh, you know, it's probably a good idea to get that coating on there in the spring. Then hopefully the oil and water can sort of mix together and help prevent some of that rust, perhaps. So, uh, anyhow, it was a... Uh, Interesting project. I'm going to keep an eye on it and uh, down in the description I'll put a link to the products I used and uh, mainly the the gun for undercoating. It worked real well. I ended up setting that at about 70 psi. It seemed to cover pretty well. So thanks for watching guys and stay tuned. If you're not a subscriber think about subscribing and while I'm thinking about it, there's one other thing that you guys can let me know. I'm wondering why all those uh, frame rails in the vehicle have holes in them. I was thinking if they just made those solid, I don't know if it's a manufacturing thing or what, but you can let me know down in the comments as well. All right, guys, take care. Have a good day.